holy crap. Never in the history of YouTube power tool review channels has anything like this ever happened. All right, so let me explain this a little bit. The power tool niche on YouTube is small. There's not that many YouTube power tool review channels, but for the ones that are, there's really not that much drama, especially when it comes to companies. Basically we get the tools or we buy the tools or whatever, and then we review them. We say what we like, what we don't like about tools and the power tool companies are in general usually pretty quiet. Sometimes things can go very well for them and sometimes things can go very wrong for them. But this is the first time that a tool company actually took matters in their own hands and called out a YouTuber. Let me give you some backstory here. So about a year ago, myself and another channel, it's uh, VCG Construction, and his name is Vance, he's the owner, went down to Atlanta and visited Ryobi, not Ryobi, and Rigid Power Tools. Now, long story short, there was some drama down there, some button heads between uh, Vance of VCG Construction and Rigid Executives. And believe it or not, the whole argument started over Vance wanting a Philly cheesesteak. Take a look at this clip here that I recorded from down there. You know what, just stay away from me, cuz, cuz 99% don't know how hungry I am right now. You had done told me that the Philly cheesesteak would be put right there. I ain't seen no Philly cheesesteak, oh! Couldn't believe he got so upset. We got back from the trip. I actually reached out to Vance and said, listen, you know, why don't we talk about this? And he just went crazy. He just started blah, 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 blah on the phone to me. I mean, I literally put the phone down, walked away for like, I think six hours. I did some woodworking. I came back and he was still going on about how they forgot to bring him Philly cheesesteaks. It was sort of like the whole Van Halen M&M things. You know, I don't want those, those brown M&Ms, you know, cause I'm Van Halen except for he's like Vance Halen. All right, so all that happened, let's fast forward it to yesterday and what happened. It all started over this fan right here. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a review on this fan. There's 10 different mounting options for this fan. You got the hooks over here, you know, you got the back over here where you could put with screws and all this stuff. He did a video, once again, calling out rigid power tools and saying, listen, I can't figure out how to hook this thing up 10 different ways. Why don't you let me know how to do it? I'm gonna call this four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten is like ten, ten, is that what? You know, leave it down in the comments if you if you so dare, rigid. Tell us about your tell us about your mounting points, how you're cleaning these ten, because I'm not seeing it in any of the literature and all. Rigid literally goes on Instagram, and here is the actual post. This is the actual post from Rigid calling Vance from Vegan Cookies Good, VCG Construction, out. I mean, they, they slayed him. 10, is that what? Yo, leave it down in the comments if you so dare, Rigid. VCG Construction couldn't find all 10 mounting points. Here are the four he missed. I couldn't believe it. Now, let me tell you something. Tool companies usually take a hit sometimes. They'll send things over, or if you know we go out and buy something, if we like it, we'll let you know, or if, if I, I don't like it, I'll let you know. And usually they're, they're, like I said, pretty quiet about stuff. They just sort of like, okay, whatever, you didn't like it, cool, whatever. But long story short, in that post, Rigid literally says, yo, Vance, you don't know how to use our fan? I will show you publicly in front of every, all of our, our followers on Instagram, our thousands of followers, this is how you use the fan. Oh man. But I, I will tell you, good for Rigid. I mean, calling them out. Listen, as I mentioned, sometimes they take some crap. I've given them crap. They take it in stride, but for them to actually stand up to an online bully, which I get from him constantly, nonstop bullying. You've seen videos, you, you've seen things that he has said about me on this channel, and I don't like drama. I just wanna put out the tool reviews and the news and let you know what's going on in the industry. But finally, somebody calls out this monster, this bully, which is actually pretty sad because, you know, I really wanted to get along with him. I really wanted to get, you know, and that causes a rift between me and Rigid now. I mean, it's just awkward, you know, because I wanted to try to be friends with Vance. I reach out to him all the time on his, his videos and I leave comments and, hey, listen, why don't we just stop whatever's going on between us and just be friends? You know, I thought we would get into that and, and you know, we started taking phone calls and, and it just goes right back to it. But how can I now be in the middle of this 
and, and talk to Vance or try to reach out to Vance when Ridge is obviously probably a little upset with him. And how can I reach out to Rigid and, and still bring their tools to the channel if I ever try to get uh, back to being, I guess, somewhat friends with Vance? I mean, I haven't talked to him for like six months, but you know, what do I do? Let me know in the comments. Should I just not talk to either one of them? Or should I try to make amends with Vance and Rigid and try to bring these two together and, and squash whatever this is? But listen, he had it coming, man. Freaking monster. I guess it, um, it kind of bothers me because we don't have these type of issues in this niche. 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 So why am I bringing this to your attention? I, I guess there's two reasons, really. Number one is, you know, stand up to online bullies, you know, regardless. And, and for Rigid to do that, you know, it, it brings a tear to my eye a little bit, you know, because it, I guess it shows us little guys that we don't have to take that abuse from people like him. And the second thing I guess I wanted to say is, you know, I am probably the best, or I would say the only good person on YouTube. You know, for me to be stuck in the middle of this and to come out strong and make this video and talk about it, it's, it's bravery. I don't think there's anybody else out there like that. If you want to see that video of me and Vance from Vegan Cookies Good Construction at Rigid and see what really happened, I'll leave a card at the end of this video. Check it out and you'll see really what went down during that whole visit and you'll probably be disgusted as well. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and we'll be back with more videos soon.